Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.18 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is the op M in the circuit of figure P5.18 is ideal. What op M circuit configuration is this? Okay, we have a voltage source connected to the positive terminal of op M and then a resistor configured like this. So this is clearly a non-inverting amplifier. So for the problem A, that is non-inverting amplifier. Okay, let's write that. And for B, we are asked to calculate V0. V0 is this node here. And let's see what we got from here. This is 2 volt, and it is connected to the this terminal here. So this node here is also two fold. Okay, let's name this node here as V A. But we note that V A is equal to two fold. Okay, V A is equal to two fold. However, we are asked about V zero, which is this one. So we still need to do some calculation here. Okay, let's assume a direction. Uh, the directions of the current. Okay, maybe this is going to the right and this goes into the op M and this goes to the right. Okay, we can do KCL at node VA. KCL at node VA. And what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that are going out. Okay, the only current that goes in is here. So we will have this current here. However, this is the ground. So this will be zero, zero volt, right? So we'll have zero minus VA, zero minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 25, right? And then that will equal to this current that goes into the op M because it is ideal, this will be zero. So we'll have zero and then plus. Okay, let's find out this current here via the ohm law. That is VA minus V0. So we will have VA minus V0 divided by the resistance between them, which is 140. Okay, let's do some simplification or let's Put in VA is equal to 2 volt first. So we will have 0 minus 2 divided by 25. And this will equal to, I don't need to write this 0 anymore, right? Because 0 plus this is just this one. And inserting VA here, so we will have 2 minus V0. And that will divide it by 140. Okay, this is minus 2. And we can cross multiply here. So I'll have minus 2 multiplied by 150. That will equal to 25 multiplied by 2 minus V0. Okay. And on the left hand side, we will have minus 300. On the right hand side, let's plug that in. I mean, let's distribute this 25 inside the bracket. 25 multiplied by 2, that will be 50. And then minus 25 V0. Okay, so let's move this 25 V0 to the left hand side. So the sign will be positive. So I'll have 25 V0 is equal to 50 plus 300. Okay, so we will have 25 V0 is equal to 350. And so we will have P0 is equal to 350 divided by 25. And that is, what is P0? P0 is 350 divided by 25. That should be an integer, right? And that is an integer which is 14 volt here. And I think that's all for this problem. And we got the V0 is 14 volt. Hopefully this will help you solve 
this problem there are still three minutes remaining until eight minutes but you can leave here see you in the next video bye bye